It's a cute little song, Pop Goes the Weasel. Everybody knows this song. The reason I'm using this traditional song is kind of to teach ornamentation, to show you how by putting some secret sauce, you know, some juice on the base, some uh, grease as they say, you can really make something more interesting. And um, playing this song, everybody, you know, it's very simple. Everybody knows it, it as a, a very sing-songy sort of approach. And um, it's a cool thing to start to ornament. So anyway, I'm Finbar of Finbar Bass. All right, so if you haven't clicked on the link right down there in the YouTube text box, one of those links is gonna bring you to uh, some lessons that aren't on uh, YouTube at all. You can only get it by clicking that link right down there. There's a beginner lesson, a um, intermediate lesson, advanced lesson, so somebody for everybody. So if you haven't clicked on that, click on that. Also down there, there is a link um, that'll send you over to my Epic Beginner Bass uh, DVD set that I'm really excited about. Um, that's all complete. It's up there. It's good. So if you, you know, this is you're very much a beginner on the bass, um, you're gonna love it. If you've been playing for a while, um, there's some great stuff in there for you too. So definitely check those out. All right. First, let's, let me uh, show you how this is actually played. What the notes are. You got 12th fret. Start on the 12th fret of the A string, and then go to the 12th fret of the D. Hit the 12th fret of the D again, and then you're gonna go to the 14th fret. And you hit that twice. And then you're going to go 11. This is on the G string. You're going to go 11, 14, 11. So you got. And then, and then you're going to go back to the 12th fret of the D. So, so far we have. All right. And then you're going to repeat this. And what that is, is you're on the 11th fret of the uh, G, and then you just go back to the 12th fret of the uh, of the D string. So, so right, and then you got, repeat that again, and then you're up to the 16th fret of the G. That's the, uh, the pop part, 16th fret. Back to the 14th fret of the D. Right, 12th fret of the G, then 11th fret, and then go back to the 12th fret of the uh, D string. Right. Right, not really all that uh, interesting when you play it like that. So I'm going to show you how to ornament something and then you know, this is a very simple song, and then you could take those ornamentations and bring them anywhere you want. You know, add some secret sauce to any song. Make every note count. So the first thing I did was I slid into that first note. And I'm not being very accurate of where I'm starting to slide. You can sl start to slide wherever you want. The only important thing, not where you start, but it's where you end, right? Just like in life. Slide up to that first note when you approach it. So instead of doing, you got. All right, and then after that, you got. So instead of just hitting this, your 11th to 14th to 11th, right? Right? That is like a perfect hammer on and pull event right there. Anytime, you know, someone who's been playing for a while sees this, I bet you they're gonna wanna go. Anyway, so what I'm doing there is I'm just hitting that 11th fret, plucking it once, and then and then I'm hammering down with my pinky. And if you're, you don't feel like your pinky is strong enough, you could certainly, if it's more comfortable or, or just easier for you to do that, use your third finger. Uh, pluck once, just like that. Hammer on and then pull off. And incidentally, a pull off, really all you're doing there is you're pulling this finger that way, grab it and pull it, just as if you were, See, it's just like I'm doing that, right? Like normal, right? Just like I'm picking the, the, the string, uh, but I'm just pulling it with my finger. You can do something like that if you want, double up. And don't forget about your vibrato, right? Very important for making things sound sweet. See, give that, that's the 12th fret there of the D string. End of the phrase, kind of. Give that a little vibrato, make it sound nice. When you go to make that pop, slide up, right? But don't slide, so you're gonna slide on not the string that you're gonna hit. You 
can do that, but slide up on the D string. And you're only going to slide up to that um, 15th fret, right? And that makes it sound a little bit strange and a little dissonant, right? Because when you play these two together, that's an odd sound. But when you do it quick, it sounds cool, especially if you're doing it on bass, right? So slide up to that um, 15th fret, but then hit the 16th. And then here, you got... Again, you could do a hammer on between, this time between the 11th and the 12th fret. Normally you go, but I want you to go, and then give that some vibrato right there, just like that. Anyway, don't forget, click down there if you want to check out my, um, right over uh, to Amazon, my Epic Beginner Bass DVD set. You can get that. Um, it's really awesome if you are a beginner, uh, never picked up the bass before, or if you've been playing for a while too. So go over there, check out the old reviews on Amazon. Other than that, you could always click down there and get some free video lessons that aren't on YouTube. Those are pretty cool. Subscribe, Bim Bar Bass. It's usually right up there, and then you'll know when all these are coming out. There's almost 300 videos on my uh, channel right now and growing, so check it out and have fun with that, yo.